Dilly and the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up to sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. So how's everything with you, Mark? Yeah, everything's good. Um, everything's cool. I've just come back from a, a, a track session, funny enough, with Dillian White. And, uh, yeah, so I'm very happy with, uh, with how things are going with it, for sure. Oh, brilliant. So, uh, so uh, Dillian, he's, um, um, what, a couple of weeks into camp now, then, not he? Well, he's been ticking over since, uh, since, um, since uh, Saudi. Yeah. But, yeah, but we've... Um, I've been around him for probably a month now, but yeah, we've, we've got our teeth right in the camp now. Yeah, we're we're we're, we're, uh, we're all systems go, so to speak. Yeah, for sure. Fantastic. Um, is your dad still with you? Is he? He's who? Your dad? Is he still with you? Or is he? Dad, yeah. He, yeah, yeah, of course he is. My dad's always around. Uh, my dad's always around, and uh, he keeps up to date with things. And uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I heard that um, he's gone back with Billy Joe now. Is that right? No, I've uh, uh, they, had a, they, had a, they had a discussion. Uh, I know they had a meeting, but uh, I don't think uh, I'm pretty sure. I spoke with my dad this morning and uh, and last night. And he's not he's not elaborated on anything, and um, yeah, he's a little bit worried about this virus going on. <laughs> oh, yeah. More than anything. Well, yeah, cool. But, uh, but yeah, no, it was, uh, I know they had a meeting uh, about a month ago, but um, that's as far as it as far as it went. Oh, okay, okay. No, I heard that uh, Ben Davison said that uh, your dad was joining the team. That's all. Mm. Well, oh. um, I don't know where that's come from. I know they had a meeting. Bill, Bill and me dad. Yeah. All right. Uh, as it went. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, no um, worries then. So, yeah, I'm still there. So how many guys you got in your team now then? Because your team's growing now, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'll be honest with you. Uh, Dill Steele and Richard Reactor and uh, Young Harvey Horn, uh, they're, you know, uh, they're all the they're all the champions. Yeah. But uh, I've got a couple of boys around me, and uh, I like to help out when I can, and uh, as the best I can when I can. So yeah, I've got, uh, I've got a young guy, James Hawley. He's only twenty, middleweight. He's, uh, he's quite talented, very, very talented, in fact, uh, quite flamboyant, but he's only 20 years old, he's got a long way to go. Um, is that all he is? I don't know. Got? He's only 20, yeah. J uh, John Harding Jr., he's uh, yep. helped him out the best I can, and he should get another crack at uh, an area title soon. Yep. He can box fight, and uh, he's just got to relax and um, get another opportunity, and uh, he'll, he'll be better the second time round, but he's got to get it. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And with uh, Harvey, how's he getting on? Harvey Hall. Well, Harvey um, is uh, is WBO European champion, but he should have fought uh, on a Frank Warren card uh, not too long ago, a couple of weeks back. Mm -hmm. And uh, they had some miscommunication, not miscommunication, they had some differences uh, with, with each other or you know, within his contract, and he never got on the show, so I'm not sure what's happening there. Um, I touched base with Harvey yesterday, funnily enough, and uh, he seems to be quite um, quite optimistic, as in, like, uh, be back on track soon. So he's a, he's a good, talented, skillful fighter, and um, I'm looking forward to uh, getting back on track with him, to the truth. Uh, Richard Reactor, um, yeah, he, obviously he, he's a British champion and and he's got the British title now. I'd like to see him defend it a couple of three times so he can own it outright. And in the process, he'll gain some valuable experience and uh, before he moves on to European and world level. So, but I like Richard and uh, he can bang and uh, he, he, he can box now a bit more. And uh, it, the, 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 if we can get, if we can get to win that British title outright, he'll be ready for the uh, for, for the world world team. Yeah. Yeah. When I spoke with Richard a couple of weeks ago, he said that um, he hopes that Lawrence Acoli wins the world title. Then him and Acoli um then a massive fight, isn't it? That's a good shout. Yeah, for sure. That'd be a, that'd be a brilliant fight. Mm -hmm. 
he, he, he sprained his, uh, he had a bit of a, oh, not a bit, he, he dislocated his wrist in his last fight, uh, Richard. Yeah. And, um, and so he's had that, he's had that reset and it's healing. So he's, uh, uh, I'd, uh, I'd expect to see him in the gym very, very soon, to tell you the truth. Oh, nice. So you're looking at uh, probably, what, a June, July time then? I expect so, Mark. Yeah. I think, yeah. All right. Oh, nice. And how's how's that Dillian getting on? Dillian is looking amazing. He really is looking amazing. I mean, uh, he moved around last night. Uh, we move him around now and again, as in a bit of sparring, and it was very, very good. And I said to him, Dillian, if that was your last sparring camp, I'd be happy with that. Oh, nice. So, there's a message in that in itself. So remember where we are, where we are in camp. Yeah. Remember where we are. So, 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 yeah. So now he's, uh, he's, um, he's gonna, you're gonna see the best Dillian White in his next fight, right? For sure, hundred percent. No, I'm really proud of that guy. You know, I think that uh, ever since the AJ loss, obviously he teamed up with you straight after, and um, you guys are just going on from leaps and bounds. Yeah, thanks for, uh, we get our head down, we get our head down and get on with things and uh, it's nice to hear the compliments in his uh, in his ring craft because when, you, when you're when stuck into your work, you don't get to see it yourself. <laughs> well, yeah, I suppose you don't, yeah. With uh, Dillian, uh, I've always said about Dillian is that um, ever since he's been with you, every fight, he seems to be a little different. He's adding something. That's nice. That's nice to hear. Um, well, each fight with Dillian, uh, you know, a few of his, or well, most of his opponents since I've been with him, he's kind of, he's had to learn on the job. Not had to, not had to learn, but he's learned on the job. But you've got them ingredients where you can afford to do that with Dillian. Yeah. Um, so, 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 therefore, every time he, he's fought, we've gone back to the drawing board and tweaked one or two things. And, uh, and it's good to hear that you can notice it in a, uh, in the fight itself, in the in the you know in the fight itself, so it's really nice to hear that. Very nice. Well, I think when he first joined with you, he was um, like a a guy who would always just go for the knockout. But now he's got that patience. He's got that uh, technical side to him now as well. Yeah, well, some some you got to, uh, sometimes you got a box, sometimes you got a fight, and sometimes you got a box and fight. <laughs> yeah. So 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 you got to, you got to know when and what to do with who you've got in front of you, if you know what I'm saying. And it ain't that difficult when uh, when you get around someone who's going to, uh, who puts them things in his head. But the thing is, we, we work well together. We work well together. No, I totally agree with you on that one. I think with uh, Dillian, he's massively brave though, isn't he? Massively, what, what say that again? He's massively brave. Well, that's an understatement. And, um, He's got the biggest of heart. He's got a uh, biggest of hearts. He's uh, he's equally as intelligent. He's equally as intelligent, and uh, he's using you know he's using his intelligence as well as his heart now. So, and that's what he's got to do to be a world champion, and, he, and he's going to be a world champion. I agree with you on that one. I've been saying it for quite some time that uh, that's why I wanted. Um, Dillian to fight Wilder because what Tyson Fury done to Wilder is pretty much what Dillian would have done. Absolutely, he, he, he took the centre straight away and was a dominator from the get go. Yeah. And listen, like, like, like Tyson Fury proves, you put him straight on the back foot, he's lost. He's lost. And uh, unfortunately, Tyson Fury got there before us, but mm. this, then, um, let's concentrate on Alexander Povekin and do mm. what we've got to do without, uh, God willing. We'll have the winner of Tyson or Wilder's third third, uh, third fight. I think Dillian versus uh, Tyson is a mega fight, isn't it? There wouldn't have to be no titles on the line for that. It'd be, a, it'd, be a, it'd be a great, 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 great fight for, for British and world boxing, for definite. I think that uh, Dillian versus Tyson is, that's a stadium fight, isn't it? Absolutely, of course it is. It's a... Uh, it's uh, a mouth-watering thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. But listen, we've got Alexander Povekin next, and uh, exactly. Tyson's got Wilder, I believe, and he's, he's coming off that third fight, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, apparently. I don't really know yeah, why. I mean, I 
I'm a bit bored with it, to tell you the truth, but it is contractual and they've got to do it, they've got to do it. Yeah, that's right. Although, what are you making of this whole um, floppy glove situation? Because obviously, you know about gloves, you know about Everlast MX, he- um, like horsehair gloves. What's your whole yeah. take on take on these floppy gloves and that? that? Well, do you know what? Yeah, you know, I can't make judgment on it, but um, uh, you know, you get inspectors in that you get inspectors that sign your gloves off, and uh, you know, I, I really can't make I can't make uh, a ju- I can't make a judgment on it, but and I don't want to make a judgment on it because uh, I haven't looked at it, I haven't looked at it enough to. Uh, to, to make a judgment on it, it's true. So yeah. Um, yeah, he got smashed up though. He got smashed up from from, from the from the get go, and uh, yeah, I don't know who's making making these videos and putting them out there, but um, well, it seems that um, a lot of people who are putting it out, it's actually from the first fight. There's no issues with the rematch, so I don't quite know what what their game is. Right? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. But all right. So moving on to uh, Povetkin. Why Povetkin for um, Dillian White? Because again, that, that's another risky fight for him, isn't it? Well, it's risky. It, all fights are risky. All rights are f- risky. If, risky if you don't do your own work and um, if you don't get your your, your your training regime right. All fights are risky at this level. Mm. Um, you know, we've got to make it less risky by doing diligent uh, preparation and. Um, and going about our work in a professional manner, and uh, that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. And of course, it's going to be risky, but uh, you know, we we know what to do to be the dominator and to win this fight. And uh, all we've got to do is pull it off on the night. Yeah, it's a fantastic fight, though, isn't it? From a neutral perspective, it's brilliant a fantastic fight. fight. Brilliant fight, and uh, Alexander Povetkin. I, I, I can't say I know him, but I've seen him over the years, and I've. Bumped into him a few times at, at shows and whatnot, yeah. and he's a—he uh, seems to be a real lovely uh, human being, and a nice, nice fella, and a, uh, yeah. and he's got a decent left hook. He's got, um, he's got great, um, what do you call it? He's a, he's a good fighter. He's a good fighter. I'll tell you that. And look at his pedigree; he speaks for itself. He's got so, one. Um, yeah, no, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good fight for sure. It's gonna be a, 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 a very good fight, and. Um, We've got, to, and like I said before, we've got to do our own work, and we are doing our own work, and we've got to stick to our game plan and get it right, and we will do. Yeah, yeah. No, I can't wait for it. I really can't. Is there any news on the undercard yet? Do you know, uh, t- 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 uh, I hear was on the undercard. Uh, I don't know two fights. I've heard, I've heard, I've heard some good names on the undercard, but they're not nailed down yet. So uh, right, it'll okay. be fair for me to. To, to discuss that because uh, they're not nailed down. But yeah. no, it's, it's, it's going to be a good undercard. Yeah, I know Katie Taylor is going to be defending her undisputed. And Cam Serrano, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. And uh, and Callum Johnson is going to be fighting for the European. But I, th- I think that's all that's been confirmed yet. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, well, you know more than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, so what about um, on the same day? It looks like. If boxing's still going ahead, of course, Canelo versus Billy Joe. Yeah, well, that's a. Uh, listen, I think Billy Joe Saunders. Uh, I'm going to say what everyone else is saying. If anyone's going to beat him, Billy Joe will. He's got the, he's got the style. Um, he's got the style to beat to beat the Canelo. But you know, there's been a there's been a you know ain't no secret that um, Billy Joe's. Um, how can I say it? He's not been as active as he could have or should be to be at that elite level. Do you get me? Yeah. So there's always a question mark over that. But uh, I know Billy Joe Saunders really, really well, and uh, yeah. And he's, uh, I think, because I know him that well, I think he's the kind of guy. He is that man that will rise to that occasion, and. Um, and you know, I hope he'll be triumphant. If you know what I mean, I hope he he, he can pull it off, and uh, he, he's got he's got he's got the uh, the style to, to do it. And uh, yeah, let's just, just hope he gets in shape, and oh, he's in shape, and, and he gets the job done. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. And I think with Billy Joe is that um, he rises just a little bit above his opponent, doesn't he? 
Yeah, absolutely. And the better opponent, uh, you know, I'll be, I'll be honest, I've been around him for years and uh, he's, a, he's a, well, I ain't got to tell you, but he's a, he's a quality boxer and, 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 and when challenges are there, he, he absolutely, uh, he finds a way to win. But, you know, this is another level and, and, and we'll see, we'll see and I hope he does, I hope he does. Okay. As he gets nearer, I get me, uh, I start looking at a few things and uh, I get myself down the paint shop. <laughs> <laughs> That's all one. That's all one. That's one. But do you actually miss boxing, do you? Do you miss it yourself? Uh, no, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I enjoy what I what I do now. Um, yeah. I, I, you know, I've, you know, I love, I box, I box, I mean, I'm, on, I'm 50 year old now, but I, mm. Is it, I started when I was six year old and uh yeah. and I've so boxing's been my life. But um in my late twenties, in my late twenties I thought I'd have a year out before I knew where I was. Uh not in my late twenties, in my mid twenties. I thought yeah. I'd have a year out because I needed refreshing and uh, resetting, so to speak. And before I knew where I was, ten years went by. Right. And um <laughs> ten years went by, but I've always always stayed in gyms and, and I've always been around fighters and, and boxers. And then, um, yeah, no, so so I don't I don't I don't miss it now, but um, I guess I did at one time yeah. when, when I when I realised the youth is gone. <laughs> I remember uh, missing it then, but then I got in, I got into coaching and training fighters. Yeah, was that something that you was always going to do? You was always going to be a coach because your dad. Well, I wouldn't say because of my dad. You know, um, it was just a natural progression. I guess I've always been around my dad and. Uh, when I, when I when I first started boxing, my dad was in my dad was in prison, and uh, he he never knew I was boxing. And uh, <laughs> my uncle Dennis Duckett, he, he he took me to the Repton, Repton Boxing Club, and uh, it wasn't one day. It wasn't until one day um, I had a photo with with John H. Tracy, who just won the world lightweight uh, championship of the world, and uh, he was a Bethnal Green Repton fighter. And I had my photo done with him in the gym. Um, and my dad picked up the boxing news in prison. Right. I'll never forget my dad saying, he was telling people, he went, I was flicking through the boxing news, and I said, that's my boy. <laughs> he went, that's my son. And then he, he realised I was going boxing sort of thing. So, yeah. So yeah, and obviously when he came out of jail, he he, um, he took me to the West Ham Boxing Club. I, I had a brief spell there. I went back to Repton. And then obviously uh, he was involved in, in training professional fighters at the Terry Lawless stable. And then as I become a teenager, I, 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 I floated in and out in, into the, the professional scene. Yeah. And that's how I stayed in the boxing, yeah. Got in the boxing, so to speak. So is it difficult, though, um, being trained by a family member? Uh, it was, to be honest with you, at the time. When I think back, uh, it was at the time, but my dad had his best, my dad had his best interest for me yeah but we was uh you know i had my own mind and uh i like to think for myself and there were times where when i thought i can't think myself i can't think for myself i felt a bit suffocated but right. you know i was very loyal i stuck my dad actually not too long ago i'm talking about a couple of months ago he went son he went i oh, did used to give it the up but well done you stayed loyal <laughs> he started laughing oh, that's nice. he started laughing but yeah he, 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 yeah but Listen, you live and learn. You live and learn, and, and, and it is what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Would you recur? Um, you've got a son, haven't you? I have. I've got a five-year-old. So, would you encourage him to take up boxing one day if that's what he wanted to do? Uh, do you know what? Boxing's been good for me, as in like discipline, and I've travelled, and I've met different people. It's gave me. It's gave me. You know, confidence. I guess I didn't know. I didn't know what it was, but it gave me something where I could mix with people and walk anywhere. You know, I'm confident and comfortable with, it, with myself. So it gave me that. But I like him to do what I did as a as an amateur. Uh, you know, going in and out of the gyms and and get around people and learn to defend himself. But I'm not too sure I'd want him to get involved in the boxing, right? <laughs> the professional side of it, but. Listen, where he decides to do, I'll be with him all the way, like like my own dad has been over the years. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Well, it's a good discipline, though, isn't it? It's amazing. It's a very good discipline, and uh, 
with all what's going on with this knife crime business and respect, they should have it in the schools. They should, they should, they should bring it back in the in the schooling system. Yeah. And uh, even give it a five year trial period and see, see if it has a positive effect on the on the, the young youth. So I, 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 I'm, I'm very sure it will. Yeah. So what is it that um, when you're looking to take on a fighter, what is it that you look for? Um, well, you know, you see, you see, you see, you see things. You see things within a fighter. Um, you just see things, and you know, and you feel things, and you see things for for, for the experiences you've had. You know what I mean? Right. They're all very different. And uh, sometimes I I think to myself, oh, I wish wish he had a bit of Dillian White in him. I right. wish he had a bit of Harvey Orn in him. <laughs> and right. I wish this and I wish that. But, you know, sometimes fighters are lacking in, in certain areas and it's up to us as coaches to uh, to try and put that in them or bring it out, bring the best out of them. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So so that's what you do. And then sometimes fighters just have got everything, but they ain't got one thing. <laughs> right. If I make sense, yeah, I do, yeah. That's their downfall. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Because it's a tough, t- it's a tough, tough business. But you know, honesty is the best policy. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Well, I do find though that uh, with, with with like a lot of uh, trainers, you guys, um, you're almost uh, like their parents at times as well, haven't you? Well, of late, uh, a lot of people say that, and I guess, and I guess we are. I guess we are, but. Um, yeah, I guess we are. We 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 got the well. I have anyway. I have my best interests at heart for all my fighters because you know we have to guide them, but we also have to protect them and bring them through. And uh, and sometimes they've got to they've got to stand there and you know be in a situation you'd rather I'm not. Yeah. But you have that faith in them, and you got to know when to when to step in. Sometimes you know what I mean, and uh, yeah. and when to let go. Yeah. Well. I was meant to ask you this question actually. Um, I was meant to ask Dillian, and um, I totally forgot. So I'll ask you now. When, like, um, I mean, you didn't know about um, Dillian's uh, situation, did you? Until after the fight? Not at all. I didn't know Dillian's full situation until I think I was about. I went to Spain almost directly after the fight. Yeah, yeah. for I think I was out there for a week or maybe. Just two weeks, I can't think now, yeah. but it was about three or four days or three days into my holiday that it come out and yeah. I was totally shocked and really deflated by, by everything, yeah. And uh, but no, I didn't know at all until, until, uh, until three days after, or oh, you know, when it come out, when it come out, I knew, like everyone yeah. else. Yeah, of course. But the thing is, uh, because um, at the time, it's like a lot of people were saying, well, why is it that uh, Mark didn't know, then Dylan had something to hide? But for me, my rebuttal, of course, like like uh, you can change if you like, but my rebuttal was always a case of because Mark, he cares about Dillian, and, and had you have known that uh, he hadn't slept for like two or three days, you'd have pulled him out of the fight. Yeah, well, it would have been, a, it would, I'm, I'm very good at, um, I, I like to think I'm very good at, um, you know, dealing with uh, the, these situations, and I know I would have done and had to have been, but I, I can also understand why Dillian didn't uh, didn't share the information with me. But looking back, I did I did sense that uh, something was up and something weren't quite right. But mm. you know, I stuck with my job, got on with it, and um, and saw it through. And, I, and I'm really happy that, in hindsight, I never knew. I re- I really am. Because uh, I just really am. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy the way everything's turned out. You yeah. know, I really am. Justice prevailed. That's what it's done. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you know my thoughts on the whole thing. I think that the whole thing's uh, suspect. I think that uh, he was stitched up. Martin. Yeah. 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 I think that uh, the whole thing. Yeah, I do. I, I follow. Yeah. 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 No, I know. I know. I know. You're. A, you're. A, you're a massive. Uh, supporter of uh team white for sure for yeah. sure and uh no it was uh it was it weren't it weren't very nice what was going on and the stick the stick that dillian was getting and i'll be honest with you i've got some stick myself a lot of stick and uh 
Mm. I've got it on my phone, and uh, I took some, you know, I took some, uh, some photos of this one now. And I think, I think to myself, when I get time, I go through them. Yeah. <laughs> I, but, but I do, I do, I think that, and I see them out and about. But you know what? It was what it was. It is what it is, and justice was prevailed. So that's 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 our revenge. You know what I mean? But listen, we've got a we've got a Mike Dillian White heavyweight champion of the world. So that that'll be my revenge. Absolutely, totally agree with you on that one. So, um, thanks very much for your time today, Mark. I do appreciate it all, and um, obviously best of luck Thank with uh, Dillian and of course uh, the rest of the lads um, in camp as well. And hopefully, hopefully this uh, virus thing don't get out of control and all the fights go ahead. It's yeah. been a pleasure, mate, and um, thanks, thanks very much. Are you? Are you you're very welcome, buddy? Thanks very much again. Take care, sir. See you soon. Bye, 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 bye.